We're going to look at equivalent expressions of a logarithm. Now all these have base b here. And we have a, in the first one we have a subtraction. And then we have an addition in the second. And we have a coefficient or a multiplication outside. Another coefficient or multiplication outside. And then a negative. And what we're going to do is look in the textbook. We're in uh, the section exponential logarithmic functions, page 438. And we're looking at theorem 6.6 .6 here. We have the product rule, which if we read on the right side, says addition outside a log is multiplication inside the log. There's a difference rule. Subtraction outside a log is division inside a log. And last up, we have the multiplication outside the log is the same as moving that uh, coefficient in as an exponent inside the log. So we're going to use all three of these on different parts. Okay, so I'm just going to rewrite the first one here. So we have log b of 18. Now we don't know what b is, and that's okay, it won't matter here. Log b of 6, we're subtracting. We just saw that this is subtraction outside, is division inside. So it's log base b of 18 over 6, and that does reduce to 18, 6. Base b is 3. 18 divided by 6 is 3. So this is equivalent. So we'll check that first one. All right, the second one is log b of 1 tenth plus log b of 30. This is addition outside is multiplication inside. 1 tenth times 30. And this is the same as 30 over 10. And 30 over 10 reduces to 3. So this one is log base b of 3, which is equivalent to log base b of 3. So we get to check the second one. Now, the third one, we have 1 half log b of 9. And that's log b. Here, multiplication outside is a power inside. And 9 to the 1 half power, that's the square root. And square root 9 is 3. Again, equivalent, so that's also checked. All right, next, this is almost the same one, so I'm actually going to skip this. Just remember, on this next one, just like before, that half became a power, and then the next one, the 1 third, is going to become a power, and you have a third root of 27. All right, we are going to do the last one, though. Negative log base b of 1 third. All right, how do we treat the negative? So negative is the same as multiplying by negative 1. And we bring that in as a power. And what does a negative power do? It reciprocates. So it becomes 3 over 1, which of course reduces to 3. So this last one is also equivalent.